G'day guys, here we are in South Australian side of the Simpson Desert. So I just wanted to give you a run through. I get so many questions about how I actually pack this wagon to do this job. So as you'd probably know, it's quite hard to pack a wagon. Um, but with this system here, we've got the full three draw, three tier system. We've got the full 85 litre Bushman's fridge in there. So that's all built in the RV storage premium alloy range so it's nice and lightweight you've got all your storage up the top here you can even tie things down if you need to so as you can see up there i've got the cooker that i use uh, i've got the table which we'll pull that out in a second because that is that is really good here we've got this section here so a lot of prep work on here get the laptop up here all that got a lot of gear in here so in here got a lot of the uh the stuff I don't need to really get to while I'm cooking. So I've got all the pastas, the wipes, and the, all the cooking utensils in there. So I've even got a sink in there. Aluminium foil, everything. So that's all up in there. This top section, we have a lot of stuff in here. So this is my pantry in here. So if you come in a little bit closer here, we've got even this little slide out tray. So a nice little alloy tray there. So you can put whatever you like in there. I like to put wraps and plates and stuff like that. Come in over the top here. So we've got all the food for the trip. So I thought I'd do this video before it gets too bare because we're going through it by the day. So there's a fair bit of gear in there. So this actually is really handy because that just gets all that stuff out of the way. Super easy to, you know, pull a set of wraps out like that so that is pretty awesome in there and then you have this top drawer as well so this is on slides this one comes all the way out so what I put in this one is just stuff I want to grab quickly got cutlery all that in there I've actually got a full tire puncher repair kit in here got the handles the spike everything like that little dustpan and brush you can fit all these small small items up in here. So head torches, you know, I've got matches and Velcro shifters and, and um, scissors and all that stuff. I've still got a lot of tools in the side, but just a few little shifters and um, stuff in there, just quick, quick and easy to get to. Some, any medicines or anything like that, Panadol and all that sort of stuff. So that's all up in there. I've actually got a little wireless um, fridge temp there which is for the Bushman's 85 litre. So you see in here, you know, you can pack it wherever you like. I usually put all the drinks down the bottom. We've got, yeah, all sorts of stuff in there. Pre-made meals, stuff for lunches, heap of up and goes. Love a good up and go. Got beers up on the side here. I've even got a freezer. So we've got a heap of, got a bit of bread, chicken tenders. I've actually stocked that thing right up. The butter sits up there nicely. So it's just, so easy to actually pull up to camp and uh, make something. So all these drawers here, they're um, the sides. You can get into these quite easily, so you just lift them up. I've got a lot of the electrical gear in there, and we actually had the jack out today, so there's a jack in there as well. So the standard Toyota jack, so that's still all accessible, um, which is very handy. We've got a water pump. So this is a little mod I've added on. I think the uh, the drawer systems are so personal. So everyone's gonna set these things up a little bit differently to what they wanna carry and, and stuff like that. You can even go different fridges, anything like that. So I've actually added this hose reel, which is connected to the RV storage solutions 50 liter tank. So that's just in front of this fridge. It's a bit of room in there. Um, I used to put my toolbox in there, but now that I've got the water tank. So pressurized water in there. So that's pretty handy. The, uh, the hose reel is not doing too well after this trip. It's, um, it's not retracting that well. So I'm gonna be looking at a better, better hose reel than what that one is. So this in the side here, we've got a fire extinguisher down the side. That's uh, very important to have. I've run the wiring up the top here to this tray. So that tray has my photography lighting equipment, a couple of towels. We've got some 
TIG welding gloves just for stuff around camp where you're um, handling stuff that's a bit warm. Got a full multimeter and the air compressor. So you'll see that air compressor up in there. So it's already pressurized, so it's not gonna activate. But we'll go around the front in a second. Oh, I did just have a full box of up and goes up in here, but I've just transferred them into the fridge. So I'll get rid of this in a second. Um, I've got a little lunch stool. So pulling up for lunch, I can just rip this down if you just want to have a quick sit. So it's actually been pretty handy. So that's up there. So if we want to pull this cooker out, set up this little table. So it comes in a little bag, which uh, is actually really good up there because it doesn't slide around and it doesn't uh, make any noise with that cooker on top of it. So slide that out of its bag. Right. So it hasn't got two legs and it doesn't need them. So it's as simple as this. You get that like that. Put your leg on it. Get it to about the right height. Look at that. That's where this one goes. Straight up like that. Lock that in. Get your gas bottle. Still plenty of room for it. So that's enough going on there. We'll come around this side here. And um, I've actually went that one step further with this system. So you can stop with the just the section in the rear um, you can still have your full back seats accessible. So if you're traveling with that family of five or anything like that, you can still have the full, full amount of seats. In the side here, this setup is very sort of personal to what we do. We do a lot of filming, as you can see. This might look a bit strange, but this is very functional. And I'll put a picture up of that now. I don't know if we'll pull this thing out of here. Clip, clip. Have it. We're off and running. So this is a gimbal that this has actually been filmed on. So that, that lives up on this shelf here. So just come around, maybe around the front here, you might be able to see. So in the side there, it's a little bit hard to see, it's a bit tight in here, but you've got these little trays. So this, this is a twin floor system. So you've got your bottom floor, you've got a bit of a frame, and then you've got this top top section. So these are, are wood, um, like a marine ply with a marine carpet on them. So they're really nice finished off around the sides. So this is RV storage solutions as well. Everything they do is fully Australian made. So they're registered um, by the Australian made. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really good to be part of that. So I've actually taken a bit of advantage of this being wood. So I've just screwed everything into it. So when I get home and I don't need all this setup, I can just unscrew everything. You'll hardly ever notice. So I've got these little trays here. All these are screwed down. I've got camera batteries. I've got UHFs on charge. I've got all the GoPro batteries on charge. I've got the drone mounted. So easy enough to, to rip out. We've got a full automatic tire inflation setup. So that's all hooked up to the compressor. I've got a point on the front and rear bars. So that's just another thing I was able to do, having all this set up in here. The full camera's underneath, everything slides in underneath this. I've got all the tripods down the side. I've actually put a tray up in here to hold the camera bag. I've got clothes bags, I've got toolboxes. That's the um, water tank. So you can see the front of that. I just fill it through the front filler there. Um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot going on. All the, the water lines, air lines. Um, yeah, so we'll go around the other side.
I don't know how you'll go here. Might just have to peep through them. All right, so I've got all the air lines for my system because I pump all four wheels up at the same time. So all this gear easily slides in under this bottom shelf. I've got a heap of gear. I can't even show you half of it. Full recovery kits, two of those. Kinetic snatch ropes, you know, all your clear top bags. You can slot all these under here. Toolbox is mounted there. We've got another clothes bag straps paper towels like mate you name it and we've got it in here so we've even got another 10 liters of water in front of the behind the seat there chips biscuits everything so i just i can't speak highly enough of this system it's really made me be able to to work out of this car if you weren't carrying all the camera gear you'd have so much space it's not funny so absolutely loving it and um Every day into this, this trip, it just gets more and more use, more and more handy, so very well done. Thank you RV Storage Solutions for making such a good product.